What's up guys, this is Sean Heather and in this video we are going to do a gaming performance test of Oppo Find N foldable smartphone by playing few of the most high-end heavy graphics game on the highest possible graphics setting. We will also monitor the battery performance and whether we are going to face any hitting issue or not. So here we go. So these are the games we got today here on our Oppo Find N and the battery temperature is 24 degrees Celsius. So for this testing purpose, we will use the primary screen of the device because this is the one that is bigger that supports 120Hz refresh rate as the cover screen supports only 60Hz refresh rate. But one very important point to be noted here is that Oppo Find N does not support 120 FPS on any of the games. So even though we got Injustice 2, Dead Trigger 2, Altos Odyssey which are compatible with 120 FPS, the maximum FPS we are going to get on Oppo Find N is still going to be 60 only. But we also got some very heavy graphics game like PUBG Mobile and Call of Duty and we will see how much FPS we are going to get on the highest possible graphics setting. So for this testing purpose, the screen refresh rate we have selected is still high and we will use the high performance mode to get the best performance out of the device. Another point to be noted here is that the screen of Oppo Find N is nearly square and most of the games they are optimized for 16 is to 9 aspect ratio but Oppo is giving the option to select full screen 16 is to 9 and 4 is to 3 as well. So for the FPS games like Call of Duty Mobile, Dead Trigger 2 or the PUBG Mobile where the wide field of view is important I will personally suggest to go with 16 is to 9 and for other games like Auto DC or Injustice 2 where wide field of view is not important for playing the game you can go with 4 is to 3 or full screen even for PUBG Mobile Call of Duty Mobile you can go 4 is to 3 but it will reduce few of the screen content so better to go with 16 is to 9 but never with full screen so first of all let's start with Injustice 2 so this game we are going to play on full screen mode because the wide field of view is not important for this one. And actually it is a good thing because while playing Injustice 2 earlier, I have noticed that in full screen mode we get a bit more content on the screen. So you can see everything is nice and smooth, graphics quality is great as well, no frame drops or lagging is happening, but I guess we are only getting 60 FPS because right now Find N is not supporting 120 FPS on any of the games. Slight slow motion is happening when Cheetah is flipping on the back side but I think it's because of the uh, stressed screen not because uh, the device is not capable of running the frames perfectly Is the same thing happening when Harley Quinn was taking backflip and as you can see like when victory sign was showing the whole body of Harley Quinn was being displayed but if you play this game on 60 is to 9 then you won't get that much field of view and only up to west will be shown so this is the benefit of playing games like Injustice 2 on full screen mode on the screen of Oppo Find N Same goes here as well in the very first scene when the game is starting. So everything is nice and super smooth while playing Injustice 2 on Oppo Find N. No frame drops, no lagging, everything is going very nice. Graphics quality is great. 
and it's quite fun to play this game on full screen mode here. And as you can see here, we are getting 58, 59 FPS. So as I said, like none of the games are compatible with 120 FPS on Oppo Find N. Even though Injustice 2 supports up to 120 FPS, it's not compatible with this device. And you will only get up to 60 FPS, but it's still pretty good. So let's close Injustice 2. The battery percentage moved to 62, as you can see here. And... The battery temperature is 28 degrees Celsius and now it's time to play the Call of Duty Mobile. So you can see that I'm going to play this game on 16 is to 9 because if I play it on full screen mode or 4 is to 3 then the spec ratio will mess up the field of view and it will be very difficult to play the game properly. So here in the graphics setting of Call of Duty Mobile by default high is selected for graphics quality and very high for the frame rate. I can select max on very high graphics quality and this is what we are going to use on this device to see how much FPS we are going to get. So the graphics quality is really nice if you have a look on the scope here, too much detail we are getting and it's very smooth as well. Also if you have a look on the gun, lots of detail in everything. This is so good. Very smooth it is as you can see here. So good. And as you can see we are getting 52 FPS, 59 FPS. Not bad considering that we are playing it on the highest possible graphic setting here Even though I'm playing this game on 16 is to 9 aspect ratio, because of the huge screen size and a bit of square shape, it's a bit hard to play the game properly. I think if we readjust the all of these um, uh, touch controls, then it might be a bit better. But if you're talking about the graphics quality and the smoothness, it's really impressive. No frame drops, no lagging, traffic quality is great, everything is super nice here. It's just that I'm not able to play the game properly. Friendly hawk 
So you can see how smooth it is when I'm changing the gun, zooming in and out, everything is super smooth as you can see here. It's just that it's a bit unusual experience playing this game on 16 is to 9 spec ratio and on this. huge screen and because of that I'm facing a bit of problem here so everything was nice and super smooth we were getting around 60 fps on the highest possible graphic setting on Oppo Find N while playing Call of Duty Mobile so right now the temperature is 30 it rose from 28 and the battery percentage is 59 but since we are getting 60 fps max only on this device i think if you're playing games like um, altos odyssey or even injustice 2 you do not need to go with the high performance mode you will still get awesome 60 fps with great with great graphics quality on regular mode so Let's close all of them and now let's play the next game and that's going to be Altos Odyssey. So this one as well I'm going to play on full screen because here wider field of view is not important to play the game and the graphics will look great on full screen. So as you can see that we are getting 60 FPS while playing Altos Odyssey here. It's going to 61 FPS as well, but most of the time you will get 60 because that's what this phone is compatible for all of these games. But as you can see, graphics quality is pretty nice. No frame drops or lagging is happening. Everything is super smooth. And on full screen mode, this game is looking pretty dope for sure. And here we go but you can get the idea that the performance of Oppo Find N was pretty nice while playing Alto ZDC and once the game is compatible you will get 120 FPS as well right now if you are talking about the battery percentage it's 56 and the temperature is 30 degree still 
So let's close all of these. Now it's time to play the next game and that's Dead Trigger 2. So this one I'm going to play on 16 is to 9 as well because this is also an FPS game and it will help in playing this on 16 is to 9 but I think you can also play this on 4 is to 3 that won't make much difference but better not to go with the full screen mode. So here in the graphic setting of Dead Trigger 2 you can see by default 60 FPS is selected and we cannot go higher than that even if I go to the low graphics quality still the FPS we are getting is 60 so I'm going to play the game on high graphics quality and 60 FPS that's the default value. Cover my back and I'll give you a ride. So you can see graphics quality is really good. If you have a look on the character, the gun, it's looking so nice. And once again you can see we are getting 59 FPS, 60 FPS on this device here while playing Dead Trigger 2. So everything is nice and smooth while playing this game. No frame drops or lagging is happening as you can see here. So as you can see everything was nice, super smooth while playing Dead Trigger 2 on Oppo Find N. No frame drops, no lagging, graphics quality was great but we were getting only 60 FPS. So now the battery percentage is 54 and the temperature is still at 30 degrees Celsius. So let's close all of these and now it's time to play the last game for today and that's PUBG Mobile. So here you can see how the game looks, how the viewing experience is if you are playing this on full screen mode here. Of course it is providing more view on top at the bottom 
but it is also hiding the wider field of view here. And here in the graphic setting you can see by default HD is selected for graphics quality and high for the frame rate. HDR is available, Ultra HD and UHD are not available. On HDR I can select Ultra, if I go to Smooth then Extreme is getting available. If I'm going to Balance then Extreme is not coming. So the possible graphics quality that is maximum on this device is HDR and Ultra. So these are the configuration I'm going to use for playing this game and I'm going to play it on full screen mode this time just to give you an idea that how it looks when you play an FPS game on full screen mode on Oppo Find N. So this is the field of view you will get on full screen mode. You can see once again we are getting a taller field of view and because of that the below vest area like the pants and everything is visible of the character. Usually you get only up to this in 16 to 9 aspect ratio. So this is the user experience you will get in terms of viewing and you can see it's quite a smooth okay, graphics quality is great here stop, as stop. well. If you have a look on the costume of the character, lots of detail in everything. The reflection of the light on the shoulder pad, the detailing we are getting, the crease on the cloths, it's too good. So you can see how smooth it is. Here you can see we are getting 34 FPS. The graphics quality is great, lots of detail in everything and it's kind of a new experience playing this game on full screen mode because you are getting taller field of view but it is also cutting the wild field of view so if someone is coming from the white side of the screen you won't be able to see and they might fire at you. But the graphics quality is great. Also, if you have a look on the ground here, the shadow and everything, when I'm 
changing the camera angle there is no frame drops or lagging everything is very smooth even though it is showing 30 fps here now we are getting 40 fps 39 fps it was So not much action is happening here right now as you can see so I'm just going to leave the game here you can see that we are getting constantly 39 fps 40 fps we can consider and that's pretty nice considering we are playing this game on the highest possible graphic setting that PUBG Mobile can run on our Oppo Find and here. So battery is at 47% and talking about the temperature it is at 31 degree Celsius. So after playing all of these games for like 50 minutes on the highest possible graphic setting this is the duration of this video recording and we have to consider the high performance mode as well. The device is not warm at all it is still at 31 degree Celsius and the battery percentage is also quite okay considering the fact that we were playing these games on the highest possible graphic setting on high performance mode and as i have mentioned that playing few of these games on the full screen mode on oppo find n is a new experience in itself and that's quite nice so if you are a gamer you are going to love the gaming capability and the gaming experience that you will get on oppo find n for sure so that's all for now friends, thanks for watching this video, if you found it useful then give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, subscribe the channel and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notification for future uploads and I will see you guys next time in an another video, have a nice day.